Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to stream Minecraft to Twitch.tv. We're going to be using OBS to do this. OBS is obviously completely free, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's completely free to use, completely free to set up, and completely free to stream with. But before we get on into this video, be sure to check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Apex is sponsoring this video and they have incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft Minecraft servers that you can get for just a few bucks a month. If you want a Minecraft server, they truly are the best around. We love them so much, we use them for our own Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. And because of that, if you want to try Apex, come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com. Check how it's running. If you love it, go ahead and purchase your Apex server at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. That is the first link in the description down below. Nevertheless, how do we get streaming Minecraft? Well, first and foremost, we can go to the second link down below, which will take you here. We can click on this Windows button. We're going to be setting up OBS Studio on Windows. So once you get here, click on Windows and it will download in the bottom left. You shouldn't have to keep this file, but if you do, go ahead and click Keep. This is 100% safe as long as you use the link in the description down below. Now if we minimize our browser, OBS is here on our desktop. If it's not on your desktop, go ahead and hit the Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows icon right down there and it will open up this where you want to type in Downloads. And then you'll have a Downloads folder here. Click on that. OBS will be in your downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it is on your desktop, go ahead and double click on OBS. Now this installs just like any other program. You want to go ahead and click next. You want to agree to their licensing agreements. If you do agree to it, we do here. So let's go ahead and click agree. Then click next here. Then click install. And just like that, OBS will install. Once it's done, you should be able to click finish and it will automatically open up. There we go. OBS is now finished installing. And if we go ahead and click finish, here, it will automatically open. Now for you that doesn't open, go ahead and double click on the shortcut that it created on your desktop to open up OBS. However, whenever you log in, you'll notice something that's a bit different from what I have here. It'll actually ask you if you want to stream or not and walk you through a setup of like easily setting up streaming. I'm going to go ahead and get back to that point and then we'll start from there. This is what I'm talking about. It'll have this auto configuration wizard. If it doesn't, let's go ahead and click on tools here and then click on auto configuration configuration wizard. For us, we are optimizing for streaming. Recording is secondary. Go ahead and click next there. For our base canvas resolution, this is how much resolution we want to stream at. I would recommend 1080p. For FPS, I would actually probably recommend a 30 FPS, but you can actually do either 60 or 30, but prefer 60 if you would like. That's where most people are probably going to want to leave it. And then go ahead and click next. For our streaming service, we can use Twitch or any of the other services here. This is for how to stream Minecraft on Twitch so it just makes sense to use Twitch. Go ahead and get our stream key. As we can see, we can click this link right here, and this will take us off to where we can get our stream key on Twitch. It's right up here at the top. As you can see, it's turned off, but I'm actually going to use another account for this. So let me go ahead and log in to that other account. The reason I'm doing that is just so we can actually go live and not have to worry about anything. So log right on in here, and we're on the stream key page by coming back over here to OBS and then clicking on this stream key link. Boom, there we go. We are now on the stream key page where we can see the stream key up here at the top. I'm going to go ahead and click on that purple copy button. That will copy it. Now we can go ahead and go back to OBS and then we can go ahead and paste the stream key in there. Now we want to go ahead and whether or not we want to perform hardware encoding, we most likely want to do that. But with doing that, the downside is, as you can see, you are going to have to stream at a higher bit rate. Bit rate is how much data you're uploading to Twitch. For for example, if you have a 10,000 bit rate, that is 10,000 megabytes per second or 10 gigabytes that you are uploading to Twitch. So you need at least a 10 gigabyte upload speed. Most likely, you're going to be able to leave that on without much issue. Estimate bit rate with bandwidth test. This may take me a few minutes. I'm okay with doing that, and that's what I would leave it for you. That way, it can figure out where your bit rate needs to be. When you click next, that test will begin. Don't freak out about the gray in the background. That is normal. This is going to take a minute, so I'm just going to go ahead, let this finish. It looks like it's frozen at 33%, but as you can see, it jumped to 66%. Once this is finished, I will see you. There we go. The setup is now done. We can actually drag this up to see where we're at. Your video bit rate would most likely be different here. I'll show you how to change that manually if you want, but let's go ahead and click apply settings. That'll apply everything up and then we'll be good. If you want to change your streaming settings, by the way, you can click on the settings button down here in the bottom right and then come into stream where you'll then be able to change all this stuff if 
if you want. Specifically change your streaming services and everything there. If you go into output is where you can change your bit rate. So as you can see, we have a 6,000 bit rate. So what that means is we are sending six megabytes per second to Twitch. I would recommend not using more than half of your internet for Twitch streaming. If you have, for example, six megabit upload speed, you would want to change this to a 3,000 bit rate, right? Boom, 3,000. However, I have a 100 megabyte per second upload speed, so I am very, very good at 6,000. We can go ahead and click apply there, click OK, and that is how you can manually change your bit rate. Now, let's go ahead and get Minecraft into OBS here. So first and foremost, to do that, we need to open up Minecraft. Go ahead and minimize our browser here. Let me open up Minecraft. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and what we want to do is come back over to OBS here. And then we want to click on the sources. See that? See that plus button? Click the plus button under sources. Then once you've got this, you want to click on game capture. You can title this whatever you want. I'm just going to title it Minecraft. Then we can go ahead and click OK. Now we want to capture any full screen application or do we want to capture a specific window? In my case, I play in windowed mode. So we want to capture a specific window. So click on that. And then we want to come down here to where it says window. Click on that and then find where Minecraft is. You can see that's Minecraft 1.13.2. Lastly, click on that and click OK. There it is. Minecraft is now in OBS. If you wanted to add a face cam, you would just click the plus button here, come down to video capture device, click OK, and then click on your face cam whenever it opens. As you can see, that's what my face cam is. You can see this on XSplit though, which is what I'm using to record this video with, so we can't add it to OBS. So let's go ahead and X out of that. Do you want to save changes? I want to discard them. I want to discard them. And then we can delete the uh, video capture device we added there because, again, I'm using my face cam and XSplit. At this point, we can start streaming pretty easily. Just click the Start Streaming button here, and it will begin streaming to Twitch almost instantly. We can actually come back over here, click on Live, and we'll be able to see that we are live streaming on Twitch. I will prove this by coming into Minecraft here and actually launching in to the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. So we go ahead, double click on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, 1.13 survival. We can see that I'm doing that over here, and we are in fact joining into the world here. Here we are in my base and the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Do slash spawn, and it takes us to the spawn of the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, and you'll be able to see that happen over here on Twitch. As you can see, there is some delay, obviously, but nothing too crazy. And yeah, that's that. Hope to see you on the server, the best one in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, for some incredible 1.13.2 survival, soon to be 1.14 survival once that comes out. Join the 62 other people online and play on the best server in the multiverse. We'd love to even see you streaming on it. Nevertheless, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, post those in the comment section down below. When you're ready to start, stop your stream, by the way, just come here and click on stop streaming. And then we will see the stream stop over here in just a second. So there you guys have it. Again, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section down below. The stream is now stopped. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy your Twitch streaming, and I'm out. Peace.